but let me introduce Zulene Mayfield, Chess Prince Vince. Okay. Yeah. Hello, Philadelphia. I'm gonna put my brick down, because they claim I always carry a weapon. Um, I am from Chester, PA. I have to correct um, Brother Ellison. I'm not an environmentalist. I'm not an activist. I'm not the raised hell person. I am a resident who has a serious problem in the city of Chester. Um, that's what I am. I'm not going to be anything other than what I am. Um, we have the largest incinerator in the country in Chester, PA. They burn 3,500 tons of trash every day. Every day. And because they burn trash, there's always a byproduct of doing it. One is ash that has all of the toxic metals, such as arsenic, cadmium, chromium, because they also burn trash. It creates something that's called particulate matter. And particulate matter is the things that actually get down in your lungs, in the tissues, the fatty tissues of your body. Um, but what I can say is that Chester is not Wakanda. There's no magic shield over top of Chester that keeps all of the nasties in there. The largest two polluters in the Philadelphia area is the International Airport and the Covanta Incinerator located in Chester. Um, and I'm going to ask the photographers, because I want you all to understand that you have a role in what is going on in Chester, because you have been seriously lied to. Every day or twice a week, once a week, you have a recycling bin that you could take and you put all of your recyclables in, because that's what we've been taught to do. And we think that we're being good stewards of the environment. We think that we're doing the proper thing. We think that we're teaching our children how to mitigate some of the problems we have with our environment. But in actuality, Philadelphia Council and the Philadelphia Solid Waste Authority made a decision that they will send the recyclables to Chester to be burned. So you need to hold some people accountable most definitely, because you're being duped, lied to, bamboozled. So that is the direct connection that you all have to, I know everybody know where Chester is. I don't know, if you, a lot of people have some historical ties to Chester, because Chester at one time was very great. Um, it is still great. <laughs> will always be great. But we have a responsibility to us. Because what has happened in Chester, it, it happens right across the street. Anything that they tell is coming to our neighborhood that's going to create a job for us, we have to be suspect. Because that is the nature of environmental racism in this country. Any of the nasties that go on in this country, are cited primarily in African-American communities, despite your income level. And that is a fact. So let me tell you um, what I'm not going to do today. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to be nice. or I'm not going to cuss. I do cuss a lot, though, they tell me. Oh, I'll let it loose, OK? But I'm trying not to fall into that narrative, but you know, I am who I am. I'm angry. I'm angry. You are polluting our children to death. Now I want you all to think about what the environment is. And if I ask 10 people in here, they're gonna talk about some trees, some water somewhere, or some far away land. That's not the environment we come from. Our environment is concrete, asphalt, buses, and that same environment deserves to be protected. How in the, 
How can you go and lay your body out for an owl, but you'll let children be poisoned to death from lead? Or the things that fall on their, on their, on their soil from these polluters? It's some things that are naturally in the environment. They are there. But then there are some things that are not. Arsenic is not naturally in the environment to the levels that an incinerator is going to let it fall down on you. No, we don't have to barter because we desperately need jobs. Any, anybody can take those jobs from an incinerator. I will gladly send them packing. I'll send them up to Chestnut Hill, wherever they want to go. I don't have a problem because that is my dying goal, to shut that incinerator down. And I'm telling you this because we've been in this battle since 19, me personally. I've been in this battle longer than I've been married. <laughs> since 1992. I've not held a job since 1992 as long as I've been in this battle. I don't want to be on a job that long because I will leave them. But. My dedication is not because I wanted something to do. The dedication is because our children deserve to have a chance to live. And if you can't breathe, party is over. We now have our senior citizens, not only in Chester, but across the Philadelphia region. How do you live for 60, 65 years and then all of a sudden you become an asthmatic? Where they do that at? There is reason for it. So we're going to ask you, the, the name of the organization is called Chester Residents Concerned for Quality Living. Yes, it's very worded. We chose it because we didn't want to be about the environment only, but that's where we fell into. But what I can tell you, yes, we, we do have the incinerator. But I'm going to tell you all the things that we defeated the country's largest processor of medical waste. Defeated, we shut them down. We shut down a soil burner that tried to burn. We shut down a plant from burning tires. We've shut down everything, including the country's largest pet crematory that tried to come to Chester. So it can be done. It can be done until we set, shut that beast of an incinerator down. We're going to stay on the battlefield but it's not our battle alone. Everybody has a part of this. Thank you. Yeah.